What up, YouTube? Thanks for tuning in for another episode with Brush Strokes. Uh, just wanted to bring you a little update of what's going on or what to expect on the channel here coming up. So uh, I signed up for some training, actually, that I'm going to next week. I am going to the Tamco Takeover. Um, it's going to be one of the largest custom painting uh, training events ever put on. Um, there's also going to be some live demos going on as well. Um, so let's get into it here and let's show you. Um, just doing a screen share here with you. This is Tamco's website. Um, that's who's putting it on, Tamco Paint. Their website is just tamcopaint.com. Um, now, unfortunately, I don't think they ship outside of the U.S., so sorry to all my Canadian, uh, my European, and Australian viewers. Um, you're not going to be able to get Tamco at the time being. Uh, but here's their website. Um, up top here, it's got all their different products. And then there's a link right up here, too, for the takeover. Um, here's a little flyer for it. Um, if you didn't see my thumbnail already, this is the little flyer. It's November 3rd through the 6th, um, daily 8 to 5, only $300 per person. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different classes. We'll get to those here in a minute. Just show you their website real quick in case you're interested in trying out any of their products or signing up for the takeover. Uh, but they got their clear coats here. Uh, direct to metal primers, epoxies, they also have great cleaning products, uh, reducers, single stage and base coats, and then they got your additives, your um, your different uh, hardeners, your adhesive pr promoters, your pot life extenders, uh, fish eye eliminator, stuff like that. They also have teacups, and these are basically your PPS 3M version 1 cups. Um, they have them here for $70 for a case of 50 and then they do have, let's see, five different sizes. Also sell the hard lock cups and liners separate too. So, um, and then you can also get your CSI polish here. Um, that's what I use. It's amazing stuff. It's a compound and a polish all in one. Um, so you just need the one product and then, um, you know, a wool pad and a foam pad and that's all you need. Um, also, they have some flake here by Pat Dry. He is one of the instructors that will be at the takeover. Um, and they also have their custom colors, too. Um, right here is their custom paint colors. Uh, they have 56 items there right now. And then they do have a whole new line coming out. Um, they're premiering it at this event. It's called Dragon Colors. Not like a fire-breathing dragon, like a mini truck slammed to the ground, dragon on the ground. So, uh, and then they also have candies. Um, it's only showing five. It's typically, they must be out of stock out of a few of them. Um, then they also have their intensity. And this is their airbrush paint line. And then they have their brush FX line. And that is their pinstriping um, paint. And I haven't really told anyone. But I am, have been, or not many people, but I have been practicing pinstriping. And I do use the brush effects paint, and it's been pretty good and easy to get used to. So, um, Tamco also has merchandise, banners, stickers, t-shirts, um, if you want any of that. And then down here is where you'll find the takeover link. Uh, just click on that, and I'll take you out here. Um, kind of explains ever, a little bit about it here. We'll read some of this. Um, it's taking place at Langley Speedway in Hampton, Virginia. And I was told that Langley Speedway is the oldest uh, operational racetrack in the United States. So that's pretty cool for me. Um, if you don't know, um, I am a third generation racer. I don't race anymore just due to costs. Um, but I, my grandpa started racing in 1946. Um, he had a really good racing career for 35 years. Was kind of famous around the area here in northern, northern Iowa and southern Minnesota as well. So uh, it's kind of cool that it's taking place at a racetrack. So, uh, but they say this is a one-stop learning class. You're going to use Tamco Paint, learning how to, um, Tamco Tech, and hands-on training. Also, we're going to have CSI Polish um, there. They're going to have daily demonstrations. It's Tom Horvath, the owner um, and formulator of the product as well. Um, and then we get to watch a mini truck being painted 
using the brand new Dragon Keller line that I was speaking about just a second ago. Um, and that's a pro team um, doing that as well. Uh, three famous people um, in the low riding paint, um, low riding paint industry. Um, so there's going to be food trucks, beer, wine daily. Um, let me read this little section here. Uh, the whole point of this outside completely hands-on event is to showcase Tamco being used in all of the above applications and to allow you a comfortable, relaxed training environment. Everything you've wanted to learn in an automotive aspect, all at the same location. And never has this level or range of information been taught at one location for a low flat fee. Um, you get to move around freely to and from training classes, so you're not locked into one class. Um, you sign up for one class, that way you're guaranteed a spot um, to learn on that, but you are free to move around um, and just wherever you think you'll benefit most from. Um, so we have multiple days, sharpen our skills, or even le learn some new skills. Um, they're welcoming anyone wanting to learn even just the slightest detail. Um, even if you have zero prior skills, it's from beginner to advanced, 18 years old up and up. So to get into it, you just click this link here. And it'll take us over here um, where you can sign up for your one class. Um, you just kind of scroll down here to the bottom. kind of tells you all the classes and what they're learning. Gives you a little pop-up box here to pick your class that you want to be locked into. Also, they are doing a one-day admission because they did get a lot of people that wanted to come um, just to see the demos going on um, because the live demo of that mini truck it is actually the famous Mike Finnegan's mini truck um, I guess he will be there um, I would assume not the whole time but he will be there um, at some point um, if you don't know who Mike Finnegan is he's kind of a famous TV um, car guy. Um, he hosts uh, the TV show Roadkill and then also Faster with Finnegan TV shows. So it'll be pretty cool to have him there. And I guess a bunch of his friends and fans wanted to come check out his paint getting or his truck getting painted. Um, so they did make one day tickets available as well for $100. So um, and then there's also a live demonstration on a car. Uh, Sean Phelps and Kyle Gann. They're going to be doing like a lowrider patterned uh, roof, I'm pretty sure. So let's look at the flyers here. Um, just kind of your generic basic flyers. Um, they are, they do have some sponsors as well. Um, custom fine line tapes, uh, CSI polish, uh, Trulers, which is a very great product that I use. Um, also use CSI and custom fine line tapes. Um, also Big Kids Blocks is sponsoring Flex, Luma 3, and then um, it was a late add-on, but uh, Grex uh, is going to be there um, with some airbrushes and spray guns and equipment as well. So it'll be pretty cool to meet them. And I've never tried a Grex airbrush, so it'll be cool to get my hands on one and a, or paint guns too as well. Now here's a little overview of the racetrack where it's going to take place. They're going to have some tents and stuff set up here on the little front stretch pitting area on the concrete. We'll have blow up paint booths and tents and everything. Um, the weather does look good. It looks like 60s for the highs, 50s for the lows. Another little flyer breaking down everything that's going to be going on. Um, so here's everybody's individual flyers. This is the team that's painting Mike Finnegan's truck. That's uh, Matt Hutchinson, Matt Hutchinson Designs, Steve Nielsen Art, and then Daniel Smith of Smithworks. Um, and then another class, we got body work, priming, body filler, sanding, and that's instructed by Jeremy Green, JG Innovation Garage. He is hilarious. Um, he does some live videos on Tamco's Facebook page. He's he's quite the character, so ought to be fun to meet him. We also have Pat Dry of Flo, uh, Full Blown Cust or Cycles, excuse me. Um, the the roof demonstration that's going to be done by Sean Phelps, of custom color and style, and then uh, Kyle Gann, K Daddy. 
intro to graphics class with Brandon McCoy of Gooch Customs, and then Adam Lucier of Atomic Cycle uh, Coatings. Then we got Lowrider Graphics, Michael Sicado, Sick One Studios, and Jose Mendoza of Pistolero Designs. Uh, and then we also got Pinstripe and Lettering Class, Danny Riddle, and Michael Hall, and Stuart Ellis. And we also have the Gold Leafing Class, Stuart Ellis is doing that as well. Um, for anyone just learning Airbrush, they have an Intro to Airbrush class put on by Kevin Kegler. And then an intermediate class. This is put on by Chad Kidder of Sinister Paint. And then uh, Ron Jordan of Brutal Graphics will be joining him as well in that class. Oh, I guess he does have a flyer here as well. And here's his flyer. And then uh, the advanced airbrush class is uh, put on by Tim Lowry. And I'm really excited to learn some stuff from him. I love his art. He does a lot of beautiful women and lowrider style uh, painting, which I'm really, really into. Uh, and then we also have a class on how to clear carbon fiber, uh, which is good to know. I guess it has a lot of problems with pinholes and causing a lot of delamination issues, so it'll be nice to learn that. Um, then Randy Schroeder of S9 Designs will be having a class on painting tumblers. Now this class is going to be awesome. If you do not know this guy, he does some of the most amazing bike builds I've ever seen in my life. Um, but it's Rodina Batista of RWD. Um, he's doing a class on filigree. And he does some amazing filigree. He does it all by hand to an old computer stuff. So he draws it all out, cuts it all by hand. It will be pretty awesome. And then this is the class that I will be taking with J.R. Fuglesonger, the biz artist. Um, I did get, um, or I had a couple of racers locally ask me to paint their helmets this winter, so figured it'd be best bet to get in this class. Um, I really wanted to go to learn some graphics, and he's also does major crazy graphics. I figured I can learn graphics and helmet, you know, how to paint on the round surface or how to tape on that surface as well. So I thought that would be the most beneficial for me at the time. So, uh, but yeah, that's all the classes. That's all the instructors are going to have there. Um, it's really going to be an amazing event. Um, Tammy, the, the owner of Tamco, um, she said that they are, she did hire a professional filming crew. So the whole thing's going to be filmed. I don't know how much of it Mike Finnegan's going to film or have on his TV show. Um, actually, one more thing. Let's show you his truck um, or the design and mock-up of the truck. Uh, there it is. But yeah, there, there's the design. I'm not really sure if you can see it, but in that blue, it's like a water-looking background. In this red, maroonish area here, there's skulls all the way through that and some other cool little patterns and stuff in these different graphics so the truck right now is completely white so um, in four days um, hopefully going to be completely done and painted like that but yeah i'm really excited to see that done i'm really excited to meet all the other great artists too and just pick their minds and uh, collaborate and hoping to learn a whole bunch um, and bring that back here to my channel and hopefully pass some knowledge on to you guys. I'm really interested in helping you guys out. If you don't know, I really haven't had a whole lot of formal training. I've kind of learned everything on my own by myself from YouTube or Facebook or anywhere I can find videos um, that teach me anything or anywhere I can read about painting. Um, that's all I've been doing for you know three years. First couple years, I focused on just airbrush, but the last year or so, I focused on painting and now I want to focus and I want to learn more and hands-on, um, getting to meet all these people too, making these connections too. Hopefully, you know, I can just pick up the phone if I ever have a problem or issue or concern. I can call them and they can help walk me, talk me through it. So, and like I said, I really want to be able to pass that information on to y'all. So if there's something you really want to see from me, I really appreciate Drop it in the comments below. I will do my best to get a video made. Um, and... You know, hopefully answer your questions and help you uh, become a, a great custom painter too. So and that's all I really had for this video. Um, probably won't post another one until I get back. Um, I will have my laptop out there, um, but I'm going to 
of try to hang out with those guys even after the event you know as much as possible so i don't know that i'll have time to do any video editing or anything so you might not see another video from me for another week or two um but i will have plenty of content to edit upload and get out to you guys when i do get back so until i do come back i hope you all enjoy my content if you missed it i did post a video earlier today part four of the motorcycle tank um, as you can see i haven't got a whole lot further on it yet um, i did just tape off the panels but when i get back um, i do have a customer job that's probably going to take me a week um, when i do get back from the trip from the takeover um, and that's going to be a really awesome job. It's going to be my biggest job to date. Hopefully I get it for sure. Um, so, but yeah, as soon as I get back, I get to talk to customer about painting on my very first car. So hopefully that comes through next week or week and a half or so. And, you know, well, so a bunch of big things in store for brush strokes. So yeah, I appreciate y'all tuning in and subscribing. Um, one other thing. Um, for those of you that are new to the channel, um, I do do giveaways at every 100 subscribers. Um, I've only had one. I'm at 195 subscribers right now. Um, and it seems like yesterday I was at 100. So thank you to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate it. If y'all could even drop a comment below, let me know what you like about my channel or what you want to see. Please do that because uh, I'm here for y'all. Um, so yeah, that's all I have for you today. Um, and I will see you in a couple weeks. Until then, keep those brushes stroking.